I'm visually impaired. As I understand it, retina, the nerves in back of the eye, uh, have scar tissue on them. And so that scar tissue is what I'm trying to look around. Well, one, one way to describe it is they, they say my vision, my acuity is 2800, I believe, or, or maybe a little worse. Um, so that means what a person with good vision would see at 800 feet away, I see at 20 feet away. So to see the same sign or whatever you want to look at, I've got to be, what, 780 feet closer. Uh, my name is Matthew McNutt. I own and operate an aerial photography company. How did your parents kind of react and support you growing up? They did a pretty good job, you know, the best they could, of course. And one of the things that I appreciate is that they tried to treat me as anybody else and not make me think of myself as a you know, a special needs kid or something like that. And, you know, encourage me to say, well, you can do whatever you want to do, <laughs> which ne isn't necessarily true, but I think it was better than coddling me. And for instance, when I was a teenager, uh, my parents let me have a motorcycle. I mean, that just sounds stupid, <laughs> you know, but, uh, but there I was riding my motorcycle around, you know. The way I was able to start the business is that my dad at the time was selling his business. He owned and operated a medical billing company. And uh, he said, well, you know, figure out what you want to do and, and I'll uh, give you the money to start it. And so really investigated it and did my homework and came up with the business plan. And, and uh, we looked at it and he said, sure, let, you know, give it a try. I've known him for so long. I don't really see him as being legally blind. So I, and I knew he, whatever he set his mind to, he could do it, so. And I was really lucky too, because Yolanda was so supportive. My name is Yolanda Fernandez McNutt, and I'm a photographer and a driver for LA Blimp Photography. For the first five years, I pretty much continued to work full time. She provided the income for that, for that period. We've been really fortunate, uh, and now it's, it's quite busy. To describe our job from the beginning, get the trailer, uh, hook that up, and head out to the job site. Then we'll go back, put together the camera platform with all the equipment, put it on manual focus, and we physically will tape the lens at infinity. Um, so it can't possibly move. Then we take out the blimp. We take out the blimp last, when, just before we're ready to, to, to get to work. Take it out, attach the camera platform to the bottom of it, and, uh, and get going, send it up in the air. I asked Matt, okay, you know, does the client want horizon? Do they want straight down? What exactly do they want to see? So we communicate with each other to see exactly what the client needs. There's a small little video camera that looks right through the diopter of, your, of the still camera. So you're seeing exactly what the still camera sees. And then you have two switches and a button. One of those is your pan, so you can pan 360 degrees uh, left or right. And then the other is tilt, and you can tilt from horizon level to straight down. And then the third thing is your shutter release. So you line up your shot and, uh, and then hit the shutter. So after we get done with the photo shoot, we'll pack everything back up, uh, burn it to a CD, make a label, put it in an envelope and send it off. We'll do a, a high-end residential real estate where they'll be using the pictures on their flyers, websites, things like that. Commercial real estate, the same thing. Developers will use them for presentations to cities. Let's see, some people, will uh, make enlargements, uh, you know, if they just want a pretty picture. Uh, we do a lot of construction progress, so they'll take the pictures on a monthly basis and scrutinize the site, see what work's being done uh, or what work's not being done. Uh, my name's Danielle Kazee and I'm a photographer. I think we just really clicked right away. 
I mean, we really just kind of had a lot of fun. I think maybe like my third or fourth job was just driving him around, taking him Christmas shopping. <laughs> I think he's been, you know, a really good mentor. I know he would do whatever he could to help me out. Being married to Matthew has caused me to be, I think, a better person. <laughs> Steps. He's really warm, you know, I mean, he really kind of, he's the type of person that will like, you know, take the shirt off his back for you and stuff, which is really nice because you can't find people like that these days. He is legally blind and it's like, well, he's a photographer, you know, so it's like, that's really cool that, you know, he hasn't like boxed himself in and said, oh, because I have this disability, I can't do this sort of work. Everybody was pretty used to me doing what I what I wanted, you know, if I said I was going to go do something, generally I, I did it. I feel, I feel good, satisfied that, that, that I have accomplished something. I set out, I, you know, I said I'd try it and made it work and here we are over 11 years later. It's a tough field no matter what. Um, there's a lot of photographers who, who don't make it at all anyway. Certainly, I'll, I'll get upset at times or, you know, depressed for a short while, but I think I basically always feel like um, the future will be better. There's always hope. I think persistence is beneficial. You know, a lot of people will say things like, well, if it's meant to be, it'll happen, or things like that. And, and I think there's some degree of truth to that, but also, you know, you people have free will, and you have to try. If you just lay back and, and let things happen to you. Um, good things may or may not happen, you know, who knows. But if you, if you really want to achieve something and you, and you push for it, um, you've got a lot better chance of doing it. <laughs> Welcome to the circus I call my life. <laughs> If I just do that constantly, well, that solves the problem. <laughs> I am colorblind <laughs> on top of everything else. Yeah. I'd, everything I'd send to the client would be, you know, blurry, not color corrected. Yeah, look good to me. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Where's my check? <laughs> don't talk into the light. Hello? Is that you, God? <laughs> no, this is me in a nutshell. <laughs>